nigger, 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 that was for real that time. But honestly, I don't know why black people still get offended by the word nigger. I can only speak for myself. When I was growing up, pops told me, never use a word unless you could spell it and put it in a sentence. Easy. N-I-G-G -G motherfucking er, nigger. Sentence? Nigger, open the door! See? Simple. Every time someone not black uses the word nigger, you're not mad because you want to be mad. You're mad because society told you to be mad every time someone non black says it. So these ain't even your real feelings we're talking about right now. Think about it. If the word nigger never existed, there would be another word to take its place, both equal in measurement and definition. Shakespeare said, That which we call rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Translation? So no matter what you call it, a nigger's a nigger. And that raises the philosophical question, well, what is a nigger? As you asked. A nigger is whatever the fuck I want it to be. A nigger is whatever you want it to be. But it's your interpretation of the word which you get called on which determines whether you catch an attitude or not. You niggers are so phony. After research and controlled experiments, I broke this shit down to a science. Black people don't mind being called nigger by non-black people as long as they understand the relationship between nigger and them. For example, your white homeboy could call you up right now and say, Haha, <laughs> nigga, where you at? And you won't have a problem with that. Not because he's white either. You're both using the same word. It's because you understand the relationship between nigger and you. You and your white homeboy are in the arena of playful niggerness. That's why it's okay. But if another white boy you just met last night at a party or something uses those exact words, automatically you're in defense mode. You just got called a nigger and you don't know why. So, rather than trying to understand the relationship between nigger and you right now, your natural defense is taken to the word you're served because that is what you are trained to do. Hashtag society. But if I put an adjective in front of the noun and change that to stupid nigger, then we got something to build on. Because stupid would be the relationship between nigger and you. So let's recap. Stupid would be the way that you're acting. Nigger would be the attitude that you're giving me attached to this stupidity. Get it now? Quick side note. I got some bad news, good news, and more good news. And that came out true. Bad news is that I didn't get into the Neptune Theater this year. I didn't get a huge role in Trailer Park Boys. Good news? You'll still see me on a big screen, no doubt about that, even if it is for 5 seconds. Also some more good news, not so much for you, but more for me. I'm gonna be Toronto Brown from August 22nd till September 3rd to see my friends, family, and you know, do all that good, good shit. While I'm there, I wanna meet all y'all. So for the last two weeks every Sunday, I'm gonna be on the corner of here, Ontario, and Dundas. I don't know what the fuck I picked that corner, that's just where I'm gonna be. So do me a favor, when you come see me, don't bring no guns, no drugs, no bloods, no crips, no weed. J j just just bring you all right back to the topic so the moral of the story nigger will forever be in our vocabulary till the day of dawn not because me or anyone else is disrespectful it's because you'll never stop acting like one so what the fuck if it look like a duck quack like a duck act like a duck then it's probably a nigger with a duck suit on nigger